Hi and welcome back to Truro City. Today we're going to try and sign some players. It's just what you got to do, surely. Got quite a good squad, but I want better. Yes, we do want better. And who doesn't? It's football manager at the end of the day. Truro City. We've been hired. And as I said in episode one, this is 1.5. It's sort of a bit of, yeah, you know what I get one on one about. So what we've done, we have got our director of football. Paul Watton is in as director of football. He's he's good. He's he, He'd rather be a coach, but, you know, we'll um, we'll cross that bridge. Well, he never will be. He's going to be our director of football. Hopefully no one takes him as a coach. That would be a disaster if it happened, but we will have to wait and see what happens there. Season expectations and all that sort of thing. So our fan base, we've got no corporate, so that's good. Oh, there, there are some supporter things that we need to do. We need to finish above Western Supermare. We need to finish above Taunton. We need to become established in Vanarama South. Um, you might have missed what I said at the start yesterday. We're going to go Premier League. It's big. It's ambitious. I know, but you know that's that's the what we're going to go for. We've got a fair bit of hardcore. Core is pretty good. Family, nice. Do like to see family around. Fair weather, few of they, and the casuals, eighteen percent as well. So. We do have 100 supporters who already have season tickets, and we've got 999 people on social media. Great stuff. Season expectations. What does Stephen Davis want? Our personal assistant. He's telling us we've got to avoid relegation. So it's not a matter of attempt, because obviously if we get uh, relegated from this division, there are no playable leagues below. So... We would be out of a job. Not good. FA Cup, second qualifying round minimum. FA Trophy, second qualifying round. Or no, reach the second round, should I say. We do have a bit of wage budget available. 200 quid. <laughs> Not going to get us far. There are players in the last year of their contract, as always at this standard of football. And we've got all our tactics and stuff that we're going to set up. So, all in all, yes, Yetton's our uh, assistant and Watton is our director of football. Let's go and sign some players. It's not easy signing players, I can tell you that now. I thought they said that Football Manager 24 was meant to be far easier for buying your players. Well, we've had, does it say here anywhere, what, loans? Loans. Where are they? Trials. Trials? No, you can't see tri player trials. Yeah, we've had a lot. We've had a lot in. And so far, we've signed one player. And that's a youngster in Dave Fenty. Now, he's a 15-year-old centre-half. He's only 5 foot 10. So he will grow, you would like to think. He can also play as a right back or left back as well. Accomplished. So that's pretty good in itself, but he's four and a half star potential, two and a half star current ability. Yeah, he's he's got some good stats about him, but at the end of the day, he's 15 and we're struggling. We really are struggling. We have got all the players in. Like I said in the previous episode, we was going to sort them out. Harvey Greenslade, he is in as our striker on loan from Bristol Rovers, fantastic player, really good player, five-star potential, three-and-a-half-star current ability. He's going to be a great pressing forward on support, so that's going to be good news. Hopefully some of these boys might be down in the comments soon. Let's, let's just see what happens. Five-star potential as well, Sam Sanders. 
another one in loan from York City. I think he was already here yesterday. But Pardington, backup goalkeeper, he comes in. He's not better than Hammond at all. So it's interesting to see what's going on there. But he's on loan from Cheltenham, ex-Wolves player. So, again, another one. Six foot five, where with Hammond... James Hammond at the moment, you know, he's six foot two, so but he is the better goalkeeper, so we will be going with him to start the season. But 9th of July, let's see what's been going sign. Well, yes, I did say that it's a bit of a struggle signing players, but we have managed to get our squad together ish. We have signed another player though. And it is Well, two of them. Corey Harvey. Yes, he comes back in. Ex Plymouth Argyle, ex Truro City player, just coming in as backup. Obviously, Tyler Harvey's brother as well. So, just adding the family fun just to it as well. So, he will be backup just as an extra. I do prefer to have you know my players in full time rather than low knees. So, Greenslade, I, I want to sign you full time, son, but we'll have to wait and see what happens there. And we have also brought in Danny Walker Rice. Now, this boy can play on the right-hand side. I don't know why he prefers to be a target forward on the right-hand side. He's five foot seven, jumping reach a seven and heading a seven. So, not quite sure what's going on there, Danny, but hey-ho, we will wait and see. But as it stands at the moment, tactics-wise, this is how it lines up. And I'm not too sure... I might have a bit of a tweak, but we'll wait and see about that. But coaching badges going off. Yetten, Goslin, and Billy Clark, who's our new head of youth development. So that's, I think the staff is sorted now. So Watton in as our director of football, as we knew. Harry Oldman, just a regenerated player as our chief scout. Tommy Lawson, he comes in as one of our scouts. And Andrew Knight, another one, comes in as one of our scouts. We have got Andy Cook, who's now our, our head physio, so that's great news. Coaching and that sort of thing, I don't think there's anything changed here. Oh, yeah, and the performance. No, head of performance. Jason Windsor. So we're sort of full up now with all our staff. We've got all that done, and we're nearly ready for the start of the season. Let's see if we can sign any more players. This has been a struggle. Oh my goodness me. The problem is wages. We have had umpteen different players who we've had agree to terms and then they've gone, actually, no, I want more money than that. It's not ideal, but we have managed to bring in one more player. Kieran Taylor, another centre half. Yes, and again, he's 16 years old, six foot tall, five star potential, one and a half star current ability. He's not great. Well, he is, and he isn't. He's He's got room to develop, so we'll wait and see with him. But we have got rid of a couple of players. Ben Adelsbury, he goes out to Froome on a free transfer. He was on £250 a week. And Ryan Brett, yes, another one. £250 a week he was on. He's gone on a free transfer to Biddeford. It freed up some money, so as it stands at the moment... We have £300 a week to spend on players. Come on. Now, surely we will be able to get some more players in. And being non-league football, there's no restrictions till till you get to the end of the season. So we should be able to bring some more players in. Tactics-wise, this is how we're going to go. <laughs> I think we're going to go for it at the back. It's a bit different, but this is what we're going to do. I think... Fenty might even play. He seems to be pretty good. He's Even when I do quick pick, Fenty is put in as centre-half. So as it stands at the moment, Taylor, another one, he'd be on the bench as centre-half as well. 15 and 16-year-old players. <laughs> oh, it's great stuff. Walker Rice can't even get on the bench. Corey Harvey, he is not on the bench either. James Taylor, another one, not going to make the bench for the first games. But even Riley Lowe, look. He'll be on the bench. Low will get the start. So, all in all, I think we're ready to go for the start of the season. 
which the first two games will be Welling and Braintree. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed that first episode. Well, 1.5, we're going to call it. I think it's just going to be easier because it's not, it's, it is the first episode, but the introduction was the first. So you know what I mean. But please do like, subscribe and get notified to all the uploads from the Presec channel. We'd love to see you around. Fans, family, players, management. Let's get you all in here, please. And we'll see you next time out for another episode from the Presec channel with Truro City. Goodbye.